always wanted to come to Israel, I've been dying to come. It was amazing to fly in with a group of girls that I know so well and I was just so overwhelmed just flying in over the city, it was fantastic. The last time I was here was 20 years ago, so I'm very excited to be more in touch with my woman feelings and a Jewish a connection with Israel. And I think it's important to have the connection between the Israel and the people in the, in the Gola. Ladies, there's 400 of you from nine different countries. And even though you speak different languages, you'll see in 24 hours, you will be sisters. I came here knowing no one, and now I have 200 amazing girlfriends. There's so much love in the air, so much bonding. It's fantastic. So overwhelmed, so it's all very new, but I looked at the moon tonight and I realized this is the first time I'm seeing the moon in Israel. It's just amazing. Being inspired is really touching my soul. It's making me connect not only to the land of Israel, but also to the women that I came with and also to all the Jews of the world. I find it absolutely overwhelming with the feeling of spirituality and it came for me at the most perfect time in my life where I'm looking to grow and develop and I'm overwhelmed with gratitude. <laughs> Today when we had the Tekes of Yomas and I heard the Israeli mothers speak and sing, it was very touching for me because I, all the time I think that it could be my husband. I was thinking about all the, all the soldiers who have given their lives in order for us to be, to be right, now, to, right here, right now. And then the celebration that follows is magnificent and it's really unlike anything I've experienced. It made it it made this journey extra, extra special. When I entered the Hall of Independence, I could not believe that I am there where Ben Gurion was there when they declared the independence of Israel. There's nothing that is as powerful as a mother's prayer. And when we're here and when we're at the wall, we need to ask, not just for ourselves, for our kids, for our husbands, our family, the Jewish people. I thought I was going to see a beautiful sight and see the history, but once I got here, I really felt it. The emotions that are going through, never thought in my dreams that my first time in Israel and in Jerusalem would be this powerful. Bless these women who have come here to take on the Jewish name, Zara, Leah. Today, I got officially my Hebrew name, and today I feel very, very special and part of it. a group of people all over the world. Our heritage seems all the more important. It's just so much more meaningful. To walk down the pathways, to just have that feeling, it's real, it's just ruach, it's beautiful, really, really special. Yeah, I love you, Mel. It's just gorgeous. <laughs> so, very, very here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Never before have I felt these emotions, this feeling, this connection, this womanhood. I live so far away, I'm so disconnected.
from this country. But now I feel very, very strong.